morning and welcome to another edition of the rest of program on television. Good morning, Ivan. You see with me this morning is Ruth or Hams. Today we're going to look at how we think of the program. Good morning, Ivan. This way is the edition. Ruth, good morning and welcome to the program. Good morning to you, Chris Ekel. Of course, welcome to your one step breakfast program on NCR TV. Uh, this is where we educate and lighten and tell you what is happening and not just about the other states, Nigeria, and globally. Uh, well, uh, you know how we do it from Monday to Saturday from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Uh, we actually are here to uh, disseminate information. We shall be starting today's edition of Good Morning Abia with the words on Nagar. And then the words of Nagar this morning, truth. There's no failure except in no longer trying. That's from Ibn Hibbert. There's no failure except in no longer trying. Who do you take on that? Very just a word. And this is coming from Ibert Hubbard. There is no failure except in no longer trying. You know, most people get easily discouraged and yeah. um, saying they've tried the first time, second time, and third time, and it's not working. And because they see that maybe it's not working for them, they want to give up, they want to um, throw in the toilet, they want to say, I'm no longer doing this. But uh, the failure, that is where failure begins. The failure is not when you're trying, the failure is when you actually acknowledge and you're saying, I'm tired of trying. That is when failure really kicks in. If you look at most, like I always say, most inventions and most of the politicians, especially Abraham Lincoln, this, this man tried severally, severally. They kind of, I'm sure they had even people mocking them, saying, oh, so you feel you can do this. Why not just give up? Understand? And of course, uh, if you go to the Holy Book, Job, when Job was being tested, mm. uh, when uh, he, people said, just cause God and die, you know, you're no longer living. But you see, that tenacity, that spirit of perseverance, consistency, that spirit of, I am not giving up. You know, that's what Ivan is trying to tell us this morning. So, in by, even as we go to our various places of endeavor, don't ever feel or think of giving up or whatever you are doing, no matter how long you've tried. And so we join Herbert this morning to out everybody out there, whatever you're doing today. Do not give up. Keep going ahead. Keep persevering. Be dogged in whatever you're doing. Believe in yourself. Believe in your dreams. Believe in your vision. Someday, hopefully, your reward will definitely, you definitely get the reward of your labels. All right. Uh, yes, one day you will definitely get the reward uh, of the labor, for your labor, for the toiling, for the suffering, for the sleepless nights, for the teary nights, for the nights of uh, endless prayers. One day it will happen. And of course it will be like a dream to you. After all, people must have said or done, not you, satire you, and even set things behind you. But you know what? Don't ever try to give up. Coming from Ivan, we shall be moving back to choose AK okay, as he shall be telling us, he'll be telling us rather, what is happening in the world of news. Okay, any news that this may have good morning, I will say straight from the federal government as the federal government has pledged to equip civil servants with technical skills and capabilities to successfully support data driven decision making. Dr. Falashini Yemi Aishan, acting head of service of the Federation, discloses the Abuja at a workshop on the applicability of the international civil service effectiveness. Dr. Falashini said the role played by the effective civil service in determining a country's progress and prosperity cannot be overemphasized. According to Yemi Aishan, one key challenge to assessing the effectiveness of civil service in a given country is that the functions of the civil service are not always directly comparable to other organizations. Meanwhile, President Mohamed Bawi has advised public servants to see audits as a means of improving the performance and not as a threat. The very open the second edition of the Conference of Auditors General in Nigeria, Bawi challenged auditors to adhere to the professional code of conduct guiding the operations while ensuring timely and quality review of financial performance of public officers. <coughs> and President Mohamed Ibrahim has vowed that harder times are with bandits whose disruptive activities have brought sorrow to Nigeria and kept many away from the means of livelihood and heightened insecurity in parts of the country. Bari spoke while receiving a delegation of eminent and respected citizens of Niger State, led by Governor Abubakar Sabibelo at the presidential villa in Abuja, and this much was contained in a statement signed and sent to newsmen by his media aide, Femi Adeshina. He said the activities of the bandits had forced many to abandon their farms and homes 
are in the room. Now the harder and then. Brian said the onset of the bandits had also affected agricultural output in some parts of the country. This is in spite of the favorable weather for farming because many farmers were attacked and others had to stay away for safety. The president said the poverty level in the country will be significantly controlled by diversifying into agriculture instead of the heavy reliance on oil, he had more dangerous to take up agriculture. He said the discovery of oil and gas reserves in Chad Basin, Benetro, and Bida in some parts of Bauchi and Gumbi will further boost the current efforts to strengthen the Nigerian economy. He advised leaders in the Niger Delta to counsel those who blow pipelines resulting in spillages that affect farming and farmlands, noting that the laws had always been collected, sometimes turning hardworking farmers to victims. Speaking for the group, the former governor of Niger State, Ali Babangida, said activities of bandits had rendered many homeless, while others could no longer go to the farms, thank the president for taking a more decisive action by directing area protection by the military. And from the capital of Abu State, Nigeria's Vice President Professor Daniel Sibanjo has called on Nigerians to guard against all odds to ensure that the experience of the war 50 years ago does not repeat itself. He said the best way to preserve the future that the youth will be proud of is by providing the main environment for them to thrive. Professor Simbado stated this at a special town hall meeting to mark the 50th anniversary of the end of the Nigerian Civil War as organized by the Ken Namale Center for Leadership Development and the National War Museum, Omaha. Not all coffee was there and tells us more. Simbado said the artifacts and monuments at the museum is a clear reminder of the pains of the past and called for re examining of the Nigerian nation. He described the Nigerian Bafara Civil War as a defining tragedy for national development, filled with secrets and scares, but said the discipline of remembrance is to learn from it and ensure it never happens again. The Vice President revealed that the memories of those who made the supreme sacrifices must be remembered and noted that the nation will never again be faced with such tragic experience. He said Nigeria has invested in national integration and peace development in the past 50 years and described them as more tasking than amazing on the setbacks. The Vice President maintained that articulating a national policy and nation building is hard work, which he described as an enormous but necessary task. According to the Vice President, achieving national integration can be achieved by ensuring that the concerns of all must be carried along in nation building. Job Nigeria has to drive towards making the next 50 years better for the next generation. While describing the Southeast as Nigeria's natural source of development, the Vice President said the ingenuity and creativity of the evil man cannot be overemphasized and expressed the determination of the Buhari administration to bring an end to the cry for help by the young generation for an enabling environment. He said the young people need self-actualization and not determination, noting that the South East is gaining momentum in small and medium enterprises, especially in Aba, with its creative powers seen in made in Aba products, which has won many awards and accolades across Nigeria and beyond. The senior advocate of Nigeria further explained that nations are made by those who demonstrate their belief in their country 
by infecting in their own rather than the politicians and describe the Southeast as the true nation builders. And what is this one? It will be seen or unseen in ideal circumstances. All politics, no matter how good they will be trained, are important and only through the labor of their members, only through the labor of their citizens, are nations built and nations protected. My family's nations are made up of people who disagree and at times disagree intensely. The times that find us have survived the most intense disagreement that we are known as a people and resulted in the same way. But our national anthem enjoins us to build a nation where peace and justice are ready. He called on all to come together to build a nation where peace and justice shall reign, while setbacks and tragedies are stepping stones. Now I will call for MCM News. Trading activities at the Osusu Road Market will soon commence, and this is because the 2.4 km road reconstruction embarked upon by the current administration of Governor Okizi Bazu will be completed by March 2019. The contract to handle the project disclosed this in an exclusive interview with MCNOs while monitoring the extent of work done on the road. Stella Okichuku tells us more. The 2.4 km Osusu Road in Aba is one of the strategic roads currently receiving attention by the Governor Ukeze Bazo administration. The road has remained impassable for the past 20 years, not until the Governor awarded the road for construction in 2018. In an interview with MCL News, some residents and traders along the road who were full of appreciation for the quality of work going on along the road, which is being done by cement pavement technology, said so that economic and social lives are gradually returning in the area. <laughs> I make all about the business and the Nabia Bumiha in Ran. But now, Obi Diano Tande, Oyo and Dena Geba, the Kuerwala Sena, the governor is trying, not on a balancoma, due to the new development we have seen. So, Obi Diano Tande. So, at that time, we are feeling bad because we cannot get money to pay for the shop, we cannot feed ourselves, feed our family. But now, we are seeing the light. Things is coming better now. Go, we are not doing anything here. You can't see when to come to shop. When you come, you keep on sleeping. But today we have food. At our set and done, we we'll see people now coming close to buy from us. The way they are doing it, I believe and I seek that it can last more than other rules. I'll be the mama. I'll be the mama. Because past years, I don't know how if you never put a child, I should not be able to get a child. If you have a child, you can get a child. If you have a child, you can get a child. If you have a child, you can get a child. If you have a child, you can get a child. If you have a child, you can get a child. If you have a child, you can get a but now with the construction, I seen life running back, and we hope so. And continue, if the contractor can be up and doing, in no distant time, life will fully return, business will fully return back to us. So good. The road construction has advanced to St. John Anglican Church Junction. The project contractor said that the concrete pavement technology will soon be completed. It will be followed by a 7 centimeter asphalt, adding that Governor Okeze Bazo has remained committed in realizing the project before the next rainy season. Uh, we have faced the drainage. We are now on the concrete pavement. Uh, we thank God and the Governor have been supporting us financially. We are here working seriously. I know by the special grace of God, uh, by the ending of uh, next month, we will finish the concrete pavement. And besides, uh, they are still uh, putting out the base for uh, street lights. 
The contractor, while assuring of quality job, thanked the residents of Osuso for their cooperation and support to the company. He assured that the vote will soon be handed over to the state government for commissioning before the rainy season. Stella Okechuku, MCL News. And still from the state capital, Senator Ken Namani has called on Nigerians to reflect on the efforts of the past heroes to chart a new course for a better Nigeria. Namani made a call at a special town hall meeting to mark the 50th anniversary of the end of the Nigerian Biafran Civil War as organized by the Ken Namani Center for Leadership Development at the National War Museum, Omaya. We also gave more a careful finding this report. Finally, the convener of the Vengeance, Oblo Remark, said the day marks a milestone in the lives of the people of the Southeast and calls for sober reflection. He used the forum to call on all to reflect on the war, legacies, and chart a new course for a common future for the nation. He said the venue, War Museum, is a great reminder and in every sense a hallowed ground where soldiers who died and others are remembered. Naman explained that the museum was conceived as a memorial to man soldiers and others that died in the war. He further noted that war is never a solution to any problem and enjoined everyone to pursue peace at all costs. He cited the hallowed ground as a place of unity, admitting that Nigeria had come a long way for more efforts to be employed for a better future the people seek. The former senator enjoined Nigerians to forget the problems and ills of the past to face the future like other countries rather than dwelling on the past and called for restraint in the choice of words. <laughs> In his speech revealed that the civil war left a lot of bad memories and called for national narrative. He said it requires everyone coming together, taking the blame for the war and apologizing to each other as the only way to heal and move on. The governor who said the state is filled with scars from the war appealed for consideration on areas that were deeply affected by the war. He said the drums of war cannot continue to beat across Nigeria and called the law to say never again to another civil war. <laughs> The governor of Imo State, Senator Hope Uzadema, the Minister of State, Miles and State Development, Uchi Oga, member representing them, the federal constituency, and other top government officials graced the event. The meeting was called to address the issues with a focus to addressing the future. Nara Okafo, MCU News. Medical experts have emphasized on the proper health tips to be adhered to in order to prevent numbness. The tips were made known when MCU News spoke with public health experts on the subject. Isn't it wonderful? It's our guide. For instance, 
Now next can be referred to a burning or prickling sensation that is usually felt in the hands, arms, legs or feet. However, it can also occur in other parts of the body. The sensation occurs without warning, usually painless and described as tingling, skin scrolling and itching. Speaking of the health issue, health experts say that numbness is caused by pressure on a nerve which includes sitting on one's legs crossed or falling asleep on the arm. On the other courses, medical experts has this to say. Numbness um, occurs when um, you know, there's a pressure on a part of, of the body and um, you know, blood supply is cut off due to that pressure. Um, for example, you hold tight you know, part of your body like I'm holding tight this hand now. If I hold it tight for quite a long time, um, I'm going to cut off the you know, supply of blood to uh, the mass passing through this place and then you experience uh, paresthesia or a degree of uh, you know, numbness and, um, and so when that happens um, you will lose uh, the sense of you know, um, you know touch and, uh, because there's no more blood supply, there's no more blood oxygen to those mass. Um, they begin to um, die as it were. But we have other situations when numbers you know, can also come you know, as a result of you know, certain conditions um, you know, in the body. They equally noted that numbness called pins and needles by English folks can also be stopped and prevented. The medical experts stated that physical exercise and good sleeping posture can prevent it. You avoid undue pressure on the part of your body for a long time. You have to avoid that. And another precaution is that you have to consider your age and then you have to engage your limbs, upper and lower limbs, uh, parts of your body um, in exercises. Uh, you know, when you're always engaged um, in exercises, your supply, the blood supply to your body, you know, is enhanced. Meanwhile, numbness is a health condition that is common in humans. Research shows that diseases such as diabetes, neuropathy, migraine, stroke, seizures, amongst others, can also lead to numbness. It's in the for MC Onions. Members of the Nigerian Labour Congress and the State and the Trade Union Congress with other sister unions in Bios State have shut the Bios State Treasury Building over non-payment of salaries, arrears and non-implementation of the new salary structure. The state workers were led by the different chapter chairmen and secretaries arrived at the building before 7 a.m. leaving the workers and the accountant general. Addressing the workers, the state chairman of the Trade Union Congress, Comrade Julius Lai noted that the current government is not considering the plight of the workers of the state, adding that they were all aware that the location for the state has been sent to the state, but were wondering why salaries are delayed. He also lamented that pensioners are also not paid and there are elderly persons who depend on this small pay for their livelihood. According to the state NLC chairman, Comrade John Ndeomu, he said we're all here to get his our general salaries and nothing less, end of quote. He added that we will not leave here until we are given full assurance that the salaries will be paid later in the day. And now the sign on the news package on Good Morning Abia. I just want to take a break. When we get back, the rest of the program continues. Stay tuned. This is Good Morning Abia. patronage of our programs and services for which we say thank you. We remind you that at all times you have the right to quality broadcasting. It belongs to you as well as the right to lodge complaints on broadcast materials or conduct of any broadcast station. MCL TV is open and receptive to your commendations, complaints and criticisms as such comments strengthen and make us serve you better. 
Feel free at all times to address your reactions to National Broadcasting Commission in Guzono Office, Current Drive, Independent Layout, Ingo. You can email us at nbcinguzone at yahoo.com or Modern Communications Limited, number 9B Obibo Avenue, Aba. MCL TV, the world in your home. There is only one place where good taste, quality, and top hygiene blend to provide classic snacks and food. Apple fried chicken. Hmm. Our yummy meals glide from continental to African, all freshly prepared in a modern, healthy environment. Take a look. At Apple Fried Chicken Center, children are top priority and so we provide exciting play centers for them, giving parents sweet, relaxing moments alone. Our outdoor catering services for all events remains the wave of the moment. Now, have you tried the Apple Special Cakes in Shawana? Oh la la! Walk into any of our outlets in Apple, Calabar, Uru and Umaya and give yourself a treat. Or oh, better still call our hotlines 080-868-77445 or 070-39-63449 or 090-3046-23-62 or send us a mail. Apple Fried Chicken, experience the taste. TV station, MCL TV, anywhere you are around the world by following the simple procedure. Step 1. Go to Play Store and download the next TV app. Step 2. Look out for the next TV logo. Step 3. Sign in with your email, Facebook or Google account. Step 4. Click on entertainment to view MCL TV Arc TV channel. Step 5. Swipe to find MCL TV Arc TV. Enjoy 24 hours entertainment at your concert. You can follow us on all our social media handle on Twitter at twitter.com slash at MCO TV Network on YouTube at MCO TV YouTube slash MCO TV Network or Facebook web.facebook slash MCO TV Network.com or you can WhatsApp on the number 080-330-03356. For more information on MCO TV app, please call the MCO TV customer care number 0703290089 or 0803737385. MCO TV, the world is your home. Not deface Abbey Estate with posters. Do not defecate on our streets. Do not litter Abbey Estate. Do not 
not urinate in public places. Keep Abia State clean. This message is brought to you by the MCL TV. Welcome to MCL Customer Care Service Information. Please listen to the final instruction upon observation of any of the family on your television screen. That signal kindly check the positioning of your antenna or system wire connection. Initial card failure or card error, please remove and bring your smart card to your office. One is your solution or time expired, for the blue light or time expired will appear on the screen or your TV set. If you pay for the renewal of your subscription, please leave it on channel 7 for a couple of minutes. When there is a heavy thunderstorm, don't plug power forward from the socket. For more inquiry, call us in the on 0 on 0 3 7 3 7 3 9 8 5 or in the number on 0 8 0 0 6 3 8 2 0 6 8 5 or you can call the technical department 0 8 1 4 0 1 8 1 6 0 2 or visit our credited agents around the state. Service information. Please listen to the final instruction upon observation of any of the family on the television screen. That signal kindly check the positioning of your antenna or system wire connection. Initial card failure or card error, please remove and bring your smart card to your office. One is your solution or time expired, for the blue light or time expired will appear on the screen or your TV set. If you pay for the renewal of your subscription, please leave it on channel 7 for a couple of minutes. When there is a heavy thunderstorm, don't plug power forward from the socket. For more inquiry, call us in the on 0 on 0 3 7 3 7 3 9 8 5. Or in the number on 0 8 0 0 6 3 8 2 0 6 8 5. Or you can call the technical department 0 8 1 4 0 1 8 1 6 0 2. Or visit our credited agents around the state. Until the word in your head. Hello, my name is Ruti. 
like you can now watch your favorite TV station, SL TV, anywhere you are around the world by following the simple procedure. Step 1. Go to Play Store and download the next TV app. Step 2. Look out for the next TV logo. Step 3. Sign in with your email, Facebook, or Google account. Step 4. Click on entertainment to view MCL TV Arc TV channel. Step 5. Swipe to find MCL TV Arc TV. Enjoy 24 hours entertainment at your concert. You can follow us on all our social media handle on Twitter at twitter.com slash at MCO TV Network on YouTube at MCO TV YouTube slash MCO TV Network or Facebook web.facebook slash MCO TV Network.com or you can WhatsApp on the number 080-330-03356. For more information, on MCO TV app, please call the MCO TV customer care number 0703298089 or 0803737385. MCO TV, the world is your home. Seven others defect to ABC to give party majority a deal by Lord with 50 million naira each. Promise of choice landed property, PDP alleges. That's why it's found on page 11 of the uh, Daily Sun. And coming down to which element, Governor David Mahi of the Boy State, Governor Bala Mohammed of Bauchi, former PDP Kiba candidate in Boro, Mohammed Ima, Mrs. Suzette Wiki and her husband. 
uh, Governor Yesa Wiki of River State at the government house for Tarkot recently. Underneath that, we are not fighting corruption to impress anybody, federal government tells TI. And of course, dismissing rating, go to page 7 and read up the story. PDP threatens to boycott 2023 election, demands electoral reform. That's what is found on page 10 of uh, the Daily Sun newspaper. A bill Cuba don't hold rallies in our areas. APC members won Oshomole. Crisis will end when nomination is done. Coming from Zayano is found on page 12. And then this is the front page of the Daily Sun newspaper. INEC cancels re elections in Cross River and a Bum. It's found on page 12 of the Daily Sun newspaper. We move straight to the back page. At the top there, Mike Ozekwame, why and how history defines who we are. That story is found on page 47. And on sports, MBPF lines up China, a partisan for the Tigers. It's found on page 45 of the Daily Sun. Out of the box, coming from Majid Dahiru, it says the Sunnah of Monogani. That story is at the back page of uh, the Daily Sun newspaper. And of course, that does it with uh, the Daily Sun. We move to the next paper on our desk, The Nation. At the top left of Nation newspaper, has men killed this man and farmer in a day? Bullet hit one. It's a sad story, but we don't have to read on page five of the nation. A major federal government to build Otakot Medical Well, where the Bernie Seepers approved. It's found on page 42. There is hope for Ingedion Assistant Law. Case has merits. Go to page 41. And um, read up that story. Coming down, Imo Speaker, seven orders defect to APC. That's where it's found on page 7. And of course, the picture element at the top there, Power State Governor Abdurrahman Abdurrahzak left a Minister of Foreign Affairs, Jeffrey Nyama, during a meeting at the Minister's office in Abuja yesterday. We are going to reconstitute NDDC board. Go to page 7 and get our story. Although APC vow of Shomolet supporters keep as government vows to stop rallies. Go to page 42. The middle of nine, insecurity, Buhari stormed as a lawmaker seek action, president to get harder on criminals, senators, bad community policing. That's what is found on page seven of uh, the nation newspaper. And of course, the picture element, police barriers 20 kidnap and robbery suspects in Adia State. And of course, the picture element is just a uh, few of uh, the suspects that were paraded yesterday. That's what is found on page five. That's how police students protest car ban, go to page 43. Lassa fever, 41 died in 19 states. Go to page seven. I read up the story. We move straight up to the back page of uh, the Nation newspaper. First class a year on Wednesday says insecurity beyond Lawrence wake up call. Something that is called up and this is it is easy to play games with figures because statistics don't bleed. Human beings do. There's need for you to read up the details of that as it has to do with the security at the back page of uh, the nation newspaper. Coming down, Nikki Akina so thinking about tomorrow. He says, if you are 50 or older, check your post street. <laughs> I think uh, you heard that from um, uh, from me, Akina so. That was just return the nation to the last paper on our desk this morning. I'm talking about the new telegraph at the top there. MTM moves injection of $1.6 billion into network systems. Uh, federal government pledges enabling business environment. Found on page 6. Electricity, Jenkins failed to generate 3,205.5 megawatts due to gas shortage. It's found on page 7. The Commandant Labour Keys over plans salary increase for political appointees. 
they lost a week ended on day six. 15 killed, 38 injured as truck plunged into river. Uh, that, that one is a very sad one, but go to uh, page 8 of uh, the New Telegraph and read up the details. USAID launches $300 million trade investment hub for West Africa. That's what is found on page 6. AFDB president talks to Nigeria on one trillion dollar opportunities in agri sector. It's found on page 7. The major headline ABC over overruns PDP, takes over Imo State Assembly, Speaker, 16 lawmakers defect to winning party, Tambora, PDP governors will back Ihejoha to reclaim mandate. APC has a reversed gains of democracy, PDP tells US, is found on page 2. And coming down to all underneath the picture element, insecurity, worry vows to hit bandits harder, rights to president and killings in Plateau, Cardinal and others. And the second uh, right of following that says, Senate Pass Community Policing, a very very hard on a multiple, is found on pages 5 and uh, 11 of uh, the New Telegraph. Loneliness raises the risk of early death risk. Loneliness raises risk of any death uh, risk is found on page 31 of uh, the New Telegraph. We move straight up to the back page. On sports, at the top there, NFL undecided on pay court in Ross contract extension is found on page 38 of uh, the New Telegraph. We had you on the Supreme Court's Abagadabra. It's coming from Bella Bellangali and Treasures. Where you see the picture element of uh, uh, Mohammed um, and of course uh, the Chief Justice and of course um, the former Imo State Governor talking about the Hidu and who has come back to uh, the Supreme Court. We have the details of that at the back page of uh, the uh, New Telegraph. On um, High Chief, Wiki has broken all records in Weaver State coming from Rana CK and the West Bros. He is still breaking records. All right, um, that was it with um, the newspaper review this morning. Uh, just immediately after the program, make sure you go to the nearest vendor, buy any of the papers, and read more of the headlines that we've read out to you this morning. It's back to Ruth for him to continue with for the rest of the program. Thank you very much, Stan. It'll be truthful. I wish I were going on the white one. We'll come back. The program continues. We shall be looking at uh, the state of our in particular uh, when it comes to the environment. Uh, if you know the um, yes, it's going to be news and lots of things in the middle of space, but what have we done and what has agency in charge of health and environmental um, in other states done to ensure that our uh, houses, that our streets, that our uh, some practices that are being done in Ava is actually checkmated. But that will be after the break, so we're going to right, run right back. Abia State with posters. Do not defecate on our streets. Do not litter Abia State. Keep a 
Arabia State Crane. This message is brought to you by the MCL TV. State with posters. Do not defecate on our streets. Do not litter Abia State. Information. Please listen to the family instruction upon observation of any of the family on the television screen. That signal kindly check the positioning of your antenna or system wire connection. Initial card failure or card error, please remove and bring your smart card to the office. One is your suspension or time expired, further blue light or time expired will appear on the screen or the TV set. If you pay for the renewal of the subscription, please leave it on channel 7 for a couple of minutes. When there is a heavy thunderstorm, don't plug power forward from the socket. For more inquiry, call us in the on 0 on 0 37 37 or in on 0 on 0 0 or visit our credit agents around the state. 
your favorite TV station and your TV anywhere you are around the world by following the simple procedure. Step 1. Go to Play Store and download the next TV app. Step 2. Look out for the next TV logo. Step 3. Sign in with your email, Facebook or Google account. Step 4. Click on Entertainment to view MCR TV Arc TV channel. Step 5. Swipe to find MCR TV Arc TV. Enjoy 24 hours entertainment at your concert. You can follow us on all our social media handle on Twitter at twitter.com slash at MCR TV Network. On YouTube at MCR TV YouTube slash MCR TV Network. Or Facebook web.facebook slash MCR TV Network. Com, or you can WhatsApp on the number 080-330-03356. For more information on MCO TV app, please call the MCO TV customer care number 070-329-80089-080-5722-2040 or 080-373-73985. MCL TV, the world is your home.
to this class we shall be looking at something that affects you and I especially in the city of Abba and of course I have a state in general and no matter where you're watching us from this is still your once breakfast program good morning Abia well too we shall be looking at um, sanitation health environment in view of um, preventing or protecting ourselves against um, lasset fever and yes, it's one of the news that Lassa fever is um, a disease that is transmitted from rodents to humans. And of one of the uh, causes of this uh, particular disease is filthy environment, um, an unorganized environment also. Well, to be discussing this, I have gentlemen on the program with me. And on my left, I have um, Chief A.E. Liu, um, President General of our Land Protection and Development. Association. Welcome to the program. Thank you very much. And of course we have David Chizorum. He is an officer at the state environmental <coughs> sorry at the state environmental health um, agency as a department in our uh, South Local Government area. Welcome to the program, sir. Thank you and good morning, thank you. Good morning, our guest. And also we have um, Osama Chumizu, who is a Secretion Officer of our Land and Protection and Development Association. Welcome to the program, sir. Good morning, Abia. Okay. Okay, so sir, we shall be starting from you, um, APUD now, sir. It's not only news that uh, some landlords, you know why we invited you, is because you have to talk from the landlord's perspective. Some landlords, it has been reported, do not make provision for sewages. And um, we found out that some of their tenants, so, uh, some people who live in their buildings, you know, we are humans and nature calls. And these things from the excreta pours them directly to the gutters. And when uh, there is rainfall or um, we have uh, when the wet season comes, the rainy season comes, we find this, uh, the gutters overflowing, and then pedestrians are the ones who are the suffering end. Now, in view of um, keeping our environment clean, what has your agency done so far to actually make sure that these airy landlords are brought to book and prevent the recurrence of this kind of events? Thank you very much. Um, you know there's a division of labor. And um, this uh, is coming new to my notice because um, within the areas where we were in control, we believe that everybody, the, the system of um, some landlords having their house without uh, service, uh, services is old. Um, system. If there are some still who have such a um, environment now, which is dangerous to health, is the duty of the health uh, department of the government and the top government authority, not to us. Our own, our own duty is to make sure that the, the landlords pay their necessary dues to the government and we protect their own rights. As it has to the um, health of their residents. It's uh, only during our um, health seminar, <coughs> sorry, health seminar that we uh, educate them to make sure that the area they live is clean because uh, whoever is living in, on, on, at, uh, in a unhealthy environment, 
is paying tight and dues to the hospital because definitely they will contact diseases. So that's why I say that uh, we don't look uh, at that uh, area because we don't have uh, such a complaint to us. And mainly, it's not our um, office to handle such because we believe, as at modern Nigeria today, that every landlord has to make his, uh, his or her house clean going to be heard uh, and to be attractive to tenants. Because if you are, if you are, if you are the, the atmosphere in your area is not good, nobody will have to live there. Because we are not an animal. We are human beings. Before any person will uh, uh, check for a, a house, the person must uh, um, look at the environment. How is the, what, what, for what facility do the landlord provide? And that is what we attack the person for to live in the house. And believe, and I believe that in modern Nigeria today, mostly in Iraq, that the such system will be old system or old age system. Mm. Thank you. All right. So I'll be asking the same question, the sociometric measure. Now the president says he's not even aware that some of these things exist. But did there have been outcry by people, especially we went to places like Umbarunga and where we saw that some of these houses don't even have uh, um, you know, sewage or provisions for a waste product, the proper channeling of waste product, Hospital. Now, I'm really surprised that uh, your agency is not aware of this. And, and of course, as the Landlord Protection and Development Association, I believe it should be your duty to actually advise landlords against building this sort of uh, structures. What do you have to say about that? Thank you. Now, what I have to say is that uh, when you mention in one word, it means landlords are living there and but also. There are other places in Abba, not I just know. Uh, landlords are living there and mm -hmm. the tenants are living there also. And business people are living there and selling and buying. So all these things are not uh, landlord uh, activities alone. As a business area, like in the road you mentioned, in the road contains many people that are selling and buying. It is not that uh, landlord alone can clear the gutter or clear the environment where you are selling. But you're not talking about clearing the gutter. You're talking about clearing the gutter. You're talking about clearing the environment. I mean, landlords provision. making provision for sewages or proper channeling of waste products. Now, I'm surprised that the president is saying he's not aware of these sort of things happening. Why first, me? Because I don't know if you are landlord buildings without storage. Does it mean that your agency does not go around to and mm -hmm. see how landlords build their houses? Because uh, mm -hmm. I, think, I believe. That the should be in charge of that. It's not our duty because it's the duty of our agents in local government or the people in charge of that to go around and check the building that without a uh, sewage. It's their duty to tell them what to do or where to do it. It's not their duty of the landlord. Okay, I uh, ask my office to go around the streets or the buildings to check the house that to have or not. Mm -hmm. It is duty of the government to order them. If, they, if you don't have, see what you have to do and do it. We give you this mandate or this to, to okay, I should be getting back to the question, but let's also from the health officer here. Who, uh, Thank you. You've heard what they said and of course you've seen that a clip that was actually shown on air. What do you have to say about this? What is your agency doing? I mean, I'm sure you still know that. So you're not a big spur to what is happening. Are you also not aware of what is happening in the state? The issue of uh, sewage, wastewater, or improper channeling of wastewater is a big challenge in APA. Because particularly I myself am a field worker and there is something that is brought recently in this television which we saw. It was a particular place we sealed up as a result of improper channeling of their sewage into a public drain. 
uncontrollably. So many of these things is happening and it's the fault. I will just target it as to the landlords who have failed to actually know that when I am building a house, the first thing I must consider is the convenience of the people who are coming in to live in my house. What are the sanitary facilities put on ground for them? They are going to pay for the services you have provided. And what should be in your mind is to ensure that these services are paid with the available facilities you have put up. They will not, you know, say they are ignorant of this. So I will say that every sector must come together to really fight this issue of improper channeling. First of all, we are talking about the, 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 the water flowing from the individual premises, landlord's premises directly to the public road or drain. And it's a big problem. Remember that this water contain acid. This water, this uh, uh, the, the sewage, contain a, a dangerous chemical that will even destroy the public, uh, the, the, the government road. These are channeled directly from the building to the road. And uh, if maybe the landlord say they are not aware of their buildings. Maybe I wouldn't say they are telling the lie, but I say it's ignorant in their own part. Okay, thank you, sir. Um, so you do want to react to that because, you know, you said it is not your duty. I, I thought I was going to get back because I wanted to hear because you were saying it is the, um, the responsibility of the health workers to ensure that uh, these houses have sewages. Now, if you're saying that you are ignorant that some landlords are building this, like you said, old system, what does that mean have you, has, has the agency been doing with the landlords? I mean, can you just give us a clear view? Because I believe that it is also the duty of the agency to tell landlords this is how you should build your house. I mean, to international standard, since you're saying that other state is God's own state. Thank you very much. Um, you will agree with me that, um, as I said earlier, there is a division of labor. And uh, our constitution could not uh, empower the executives to go and uh, So what does the constitution empower you to do? Uh, our constitution empowers us to protect the rights of our members, to make sure that they, they pay their necessary dues to the government. And that is to their own welfare, to see about their welfare, and not to monitor their house to house. Eh? And um, as uh, you are aware, there is um, a town planner who gives authority to for structures. And uh, I knew again that the uh, health department issues certificate of fitness to every house. And uh, they are going on inspection, if not on daily basis, on weekly basis, to those areas. So that's why I say that it's not our function, it's not part of our duty. Our concern do not make up for such. And uh, if such problem comes, if the ability to penalize uh, the person who is, uh, who is the fault, because uh, there, there is, one cannot uh, live in block uh, air and be permitting the areas of what, uh, C, D, and so on and so forth, and the people within that area will be the person. No, they have to call the health office. If they are out of office, they will call. They will not call us. Okay. But so it's only during our own uh, health uh, seminars, we still continue educating them. It's for their own good and for their neighbor, neighbors uh, or their tenants. Mm -hmm. So that I say it's not our duty, it's their duty. If, if, there, if, there, if there's a, a problem there, we're working in synergy with the government. Do you work in synergy with the health officers? 
we work extremely with them in the, in the area of uh, making sure that all our members pay their dues to them. Without considering the welfare of those people who are staying in the houses of those they people. Assured us, they assured us that they respect the houses. Health office inspect those houses. And not you that um, 60% of foreigners in other and languages, they, not, they do not go in any other situation. And uh, this part that our own member association, APADA, is the highest body in number, but you don't control up to 50% uh, of other. Are you getting it? And uh, the, if, if, even if such a thing comes into our, our constitution for us to look at it, Suppose we move to the West Neighbor and it's not our member, what can we do there? It's a purely trespass. So if they are looking to enforce it, any person who default, if they are looking to enforce it, they knew how to approach it. And if they call us for assistance, what do we do? For instance, in my own house, if my member has such a thing, I would have gone to health office and they, they, they would go. Why well, I say that I'm not aware that it's, it's exist, but I remember last year, I reported the case of that. When I saw, said to go to even my house, which is within my area, and they heard move immediately, and they stop it at the Andrea City area. I called them, they act, and they stop it. They stop it immediately. So if they're if they, if they, if they, if they, if they play on shelter to the people, it's not their own business. And our office cannot do the Institute of Fitness. Is that our, is that, is that our and your agency cannot uh, actually um, see that these houses are well constructed. Is that within your... Uh, no, that's what you're... That's just what you're saying. That's what they are doing. Because protecting their rights, many, many of the rights... Even if the landlord defaults, maybe his house is built to some standard material, you protect the rights of such landlords? No, 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 no. You see, you see, you see, the, the prote protection has a, it's not protecting criminals. No. It's a criminal offense they're talking about. It's a criminal offense. It's a criminal offense. You see, there are some crew who have their house. Some of the government take the house without. They will, they will tamper with the, the, the people's rights. And that we say, no, we can't do that. For instance, we have many cases where some who has spread their... their well, their that's business. what the agency has done so far, but Thank um, you. let us um, get to the health officer. Well, um, now th the president says that he works hand in hand. Uh, he works closely with your agency. And so let me ask, what has been done so far? You say you see the place of... Well, some cases where these places are sealed off. People still sell on such places. No, activities still go on in such places and it seems like nothing happened. So what have you done? What are the problems you've been back to? What has the agency done to prevent recordings of, of these events and you know, to calm down, to adequately punish the filters, or, you know, or people creating pollution in the environment? First of all, we do take, first of all, let me analyze our duty for you. Our duty first is to inspect. Okay, just so we, we shall be doing in the break when we'll come back. We might have the pictures. Don't go anywhere. MCO TV anywhere you are around the world by following the simple procedure. Step 1. Go to Play Store and download the Next TV app. Step 2. Look at for the Next TV logo. Step 3. Sign in with your email, Facebook or Google account. Step 4. Click on the entertainment to view MCO TV Arc TV channel. Step 5. Swipe to find MCO TV Arc TV. Enjoy 24 hours entertainment at your concert. You can follow us on all our social media handle on Twitter at twitter.com slash at MCO TV Network on YouTube at MCO TV YouTube slash MCO TV Network or Facebook web.facebook slash MCO TV Network dot com or you can WhatsApp on the number 080 330 For more information 
station on MCO TV app, please call the MCO TV customer care number 0703290089, or 0803737385. MCO TV, the world is your home. Welcome back and you're still on to your one-stop breakfast program on MCI TV. Good morning, Abia. And we have been looking at environmental sanitation and health living, especially in ABBA. Uh, we've been having members of the ABBA Landlord Protection Development Agency and, of course, ABBA State uh, Environmental Health Agency right here talking about uh, how we can achieve a better and a safer environment, um, hygiene-wise, especially at this point in time when some diseases are looming, talking about on Lassa fever and of course uh, they have been enlightening us on what they have been doing so far to make this uh, a dream since so Abia is God's own state and of course you know that uh, being lit is one of the attributes of God's so people if we must actually acclaim that statement God's own state we must keep a cleaner and a better Abia so Mr. David Chisholm you were saying something before we went on the break yes I was saying that uh, our duty is inspection, dictation, and abatement of nuisance. First thing we take, the first step we take is to inspect a premises already built and ascertain the health condition in that very place. When we have inspected, we detected users, the first thing we do is to help to educate them on the need to really remove such things so that it won't pose health hazards. Another, we follow it by serving abatement notice, which is followed up after a certain uh, number of days or hours given for the users to be abated. We follow it with verification. We verify if it has been done. If it is not done, we follow it with court summons. In court summons, we apply to court that this person has not done what we ask him or her to do. And the court will grant us the summons and we will serve it. The, some of them do appear in court, some will neglect it. Another that is left is enforcement of that summons, which is a very big challenge to us. In enforcement, enforcement agencies are not available to us to really go out. And also, means of movement to really attend to issues that require emergency. They are our big challenges. And once you serve these people and ask them to do certain work, even if you're going to attend to the duty, you see who loves attack. I've be, been a victim of such circumstances. Even in the woman road, as I am talking, we went there last week, based on the complaint brought to us about landlords and occupiers channeling their, their sewage and their uh, wastewater to the public road. We were even attacked at the entrance of the streets. I wouldn't know what they have in their mind, but this is a very big challenge. All these things are things hindering us. It's not that we are not working. We are still the health officers. And we have been entering the field 
to really ascertain the condition of the people. And you see the attitude of an Aba man or Aba woman will be, let me do it because nobody is there. And then there is nobody to enforce this law. It's a big challenge. There was a day I was passing through Uga Road. Well, it was just a, a, a kind of drizzling. A woman packed up her refuse. The little space she saw in between the public drain, she was just forcing it so that the rain would fall and carry it away. What is such attitude? And I saw another coming out with this uh, bucket, this small bucket. What is inside? Escalator coming to dispose such in the public drain. What is such attitude? And uh, I wasn't telling you, all I had to do was just I went to her. Madam, what are you trying to do? The next thing is, now you get the gutter. Now you will construct the gutter. Who be you? I explain myself. Madam, you don't need to do this. This thing you want to dispose into this public drain. Why is it going to? It will also cause the blockage of the, 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 the drain and automatically raising up the flooding of your house. So there are big challenges. What have you been able to do? Have you challenged your challenge or you know, complaints to the state government? But well, since you knew, or since you know, these are the challenges that you're facing because uh, uh, many people have come out to say that uh, the, the health workers are not working. If you look, if you take, like you said, uh, and look at some of those traits, it is an eyesore. Yeah, it's an eyesore. So have you challenged your complaints and the challenges to the appropriate channel or the, uh, quarters or to the state government? I believe that uh, we have heads. And I believe that my director has been doing so much. She has been doing so much single-handedly to ensure that these this complaints are brought to the notice of the government. She is under, under authority as well. She has to report to the authority secretary of the primary health agency why that one will take it to the, the, the appropriate quarter. So she has been laying this complaint. When we went for this uh, uh, very uh, attack, when we went for this very duty at Oboma Road, we brought back the complaint. She also forwarded the complaint to the appropriate uh, authority. She's been doing that and we've been doing that. Mm. Okay, so sir, um, let us uh, move to you, um, Mr. A.M. Dibu. Now, what has your agency been doing so far? Um, about now, you said it's you've established the fact that it is not between your constitution to see that landlords build quality houses. Your own is just to make sure that landlords pay their dues to the government and protect their rights. Now, you said you've been back to health programs, and so tell us other things you've been able to do to ensure that um, the landlords. The, their rights are being protected, and of course, uh, the health programs you've been able to embark on. Thank you. Uh, you see, um, as you rightly know, and as I have said earlier, that uh, we have constitutional which we operate with, and we cannot uh, operate outside our powers. Um, some of these uh, government agencies, in some cases, they may. Um, we try to um, demand the payment made already against any of our member on that uh, aspect. Will we move and say no? Since you have evidence on that, that means I try to infringe the person's rights. I don't know, sir. Please, can you, can you I say that? I said some of these government agencies. Maybe it's reducing now. They have to in the past, not only the not only the health workers, but other 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 revenues, other revenues. Um, in the past, there was a time that thousands of people were living there in Aga, and uh, most of them, the money they were collecting from the landlords and would not go to government uh, 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 um, account. 
and that will, that will cause a duplication of um, um, taxes. And um, if any of our member is being uh, um, attacked or harassed, we, since we have evidence that the person has paid his dues to the appropriate quarter, we will say no, that cannot happen. Even if he needs to go to court, we will go to court. I will send our lawyers to go to court to challenge that. That is our... our, our, our so the health programs have been that to, to actually sensitize landlords? The only program uh, we will have is having seminars. During seminars, we will have uh, many uh, speakers who will talk on the uh, differences. You know, some of our people, they will go on function, they will not know what is uh, good to uh, their own health. They will be eating that because uh, people were eating. Um, there are some products that we, there are some food that we take. If you take it, it will be good to your body. On such, we will be advising them during the seminars. That oh, please hold on. Uh, the phone line is on for you to call to be a part of the program. Um, if you have any contribution, opinion, and you want to um, say something about the topic being discussed, on the environmental sanitation and how they live in APA, especially uh, where we have um, cases of landlords not making provision for sewages or proper channeling of waste products, and we find them sort of flowing to the roads with pedestrians and innocent motorists you know, apply. And of course, uh, you can say and uh, give your contribution or opinion. You can say something, sir, before we go. Can we have a call already? Hello, good morning. Welcome to the program. We are paying the way of calling us around. I didn't get you, please. Please reduce the volume of your TV set. Please call us back. Remember why calling. Reduce the volume of your TV set or you move away from your TV set so we can hear you clearly. And of course, I'm um, communicate with you. Sir, you were saying something before. So all, all I'm saying is that as regards to the, the protection of our members' rights, I will establish that mm -hmm. because we don't, we don't want any of our registered members to be. We're talking about the health program. The on the health, on the health program. And what was that? On the health, on the health program, um, any time we have a seminar on health. Please hold on, sir. Let's call it. Hello. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the program. Yeah. Your name and where you're calling is. Okay. Well, I'm calling from the back of the room. All right, sir. Uh, Let's say your contribution, sir. Well, my contribution is uh, uh, I want to be a man there. Okay, sir. Uh, we are working in a bank here. We are not here, we are very well. So, I thought we could do some quick review. We see how the area is doing that we speak. So, from here, what can I think what is going on? I thought we could do the work of the bank here. And we see some of the work are coming out from the area. And we see the health weather. You can't do anything to do And I'm not I found out to that. So what do you have to look at? You are in your work. And who do you to look at? They are still here. Why do you have to look at? You know, you don't want that. What do you have to That don't have any work. What do you have to look at? You know what? In the job. If you have to look Thank you very much, Mr. Emmanuel. The health worker will be responding uh, to what you just said. Um, so, quickly, uh, before we get to you, you heard what the caller, Mr. Emmanuel, said. He actually accused.
some of the members of taking money from these people that the voters are giving to the senior ones and he said your agency is not doing enough. What do you have to say about that? This accusation is uh, very wrong. He wouldn't just conclude that we are not doing things right. Talking about improper channeling of wastewater to the public road, it is from the point of construction that this thing should be collected. And when it has already been in existence, they start calling for health attention. In the, in the onset of construction, they, are, they should seek the health advice so that the health can tell you, you don't need to channel your wastewater to the public road. Construct a soak away pit that can soak water not the one you plaster it inside and after the thing is filled up you begin to scoop it out and some will even provide an, an opening where when this water gets filled it will be passing through there and flow out this has always been a problem and when you want to go and prosecute these people is still the neighboring uh, neighboring uh, uh, people that will also come and attack health officer who want to uh, uh, enforce that very uh, so you're basically right. saying that it's not as if you got, you know, your agency is not working it's just that the people attack you whenever you go to work yes okay. let the people leave us to do our work when we want to enforce the public health law on them so what are the position of taking money from people the defaulters this is because he's speaking he's speaking, he's speaking authoritatively that he has seen it happen okay if he is saying this i don't know where he has got such evidence that uh, the health officers will collect money from people and go and give it to those sitting in the office and neglect what they know that the health of one man is the health of all okay. when a man is sick his family members are also sick so I bet is a big lie. We okay. don't do that. All right, thank you very much. And now, sir, please continue. You were saying something about the health program. When was this the health program organized? No, the, the no, the year is just beginning. We still have another. Program. With the last health program, when was it? Uh, I think that was uh, September. Okay. September last year. Sir, so, so, can you tell us a little bit about the health program that was organized by? Your agency? No, it's, it's, a, it's a, a, a seminar um, educating our members on what they're supposed to do for their own health to keep the environment clean. Not only really for the health of those who stay in their, their apartment, just for their own health, personal health. No, when you're talking about a landlord or landlord or caretaker, taking the environment green, mm -hmm. you're talking about the, uh, the whole people living in the yard and in the neighborhood because uh, if uh, ADD is on, BD is on, everyone will be okay. 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 Right, so sir, um, when, next, when is the next health program? When do you think it's going to come? Uh, we, we, we commence uh, our meeting by next week, then the, the department. The committee in charge of um, some seminar will uh, will send us uh, the, the the information and the, the seminars we have for the year. We have not uh, gotten any yet. But on this issue, I knew by God's grace it will not continue to be like this uh, because uh, with the program that the state is coming with to push the water in our area. To Rata, to Oboya, to Mbaro, to Water Side. All these uh, areas will be free, and it will be easy that uh, the health workers they will do their own work very well, because uh, um, the health uh, officer who said that they have been attacked, nobody I knew there, are some, there may be some attack, but there's a uh, remedy to that. Okay. They are willing to work to that. What is that? that is How about? I still talk about uh, uh, division of labor. Okay. Eh? 
they, 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 are, they are part of government agents, agency. And the police are there doing their own. If you don't need the security, they will call. So I think they are trying to do it without uh, any person going to the maybe because if they, if they, if they convert police, they must have prepared for their movement. They have to make permission for that. So that it will be easy to enforce. Because it's purely on their own. Uh, their, even before I was born, we are talking about her though. In the village, they visit house to house for environmental, uh, what do you call it? Uh, what do you call it in your office? Um, but sanitation, but we call it to go the land. Inspection. Inspection, yeah. yes. Which go periodically. <laughs> it's there, probably go. So it's still there. It's their duty. They know how to approach it and have to handle it very well. But I, as I said, while well, I continue to say that we are not aware, he's here, Tarot reported any of our members to us. But if we receive a, a, a report from the office that so 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 person has defaulted. <coughs> from uh, this uh, issue and the, the person attacked them. When we send the person to the disciplinary committee and the disciplinary committee, if the person is found uh, wanting to that, mm -hmm. the person will be expelled from our association. Okay, let's go on to the line. Hello, good mm -hmm. morning. Hello, good morning. Welcome to the program. Your name and where you're from. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I thank you. Thank you. Thank you, for your thank you very much, sir. Your name is... Yes. Yes. I think that hold on. You wouldn't say he's alive. Yeah. He's talking from his own view. So let's just know how to no, address uh, that was too harsh. Saying he's alive, it was too harsh. Thank you very much. Okay, sir. Yeah, Continue, sir. But, yeah, it's not true. It's not true. It's not true. It's not true. Okay. So, your name again. Your name, please. Your name? Your name. Your name. Your name. Okay. Mr. Mada, thank you very much. Thank you. Now, it looks like there are two people are saying that before them, that your colleagues took money from the voters. I, uh, I don't know, maybe you're not aware? Or, uh, Talking about uh, collection of money, is it in the field and neglect the work? Exactly, that's what they're saying, yes. To do. Exactly, that's what they're saying. I, I have not actually had such a case of collecting money that will come to my director and my director will say leave the work undone. No. Even if there is somebody trying to do such thing, my director will always ask another person, go and verify this work to ensure that this work is done. That is our nature of work. So, the, 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 uh, answer the question. The ones that have been sealed off, the, what, what other action has been taken to you just sealing the, the buildings off and leaving them? Or there must be something that, that should have been done to all this, but then make references to the places that after sealing off has been actually more further action has been taken. But before you do just that, let's take this call. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, welcome to the program, sir. Yeah, I, I am concerned that uh, the man of Judith, if you are so good that I am sure from a very thing, we will discover that all the previous people broke their business.
Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. We shall be getting to the landlords because you mentioned the landlords still around there. You, you say it's not a joke, but you're not saying that it goes beyond just collecting taxes from landlords. Do you actually sensitize them on how they build their houses? When we get to that, let's let us ask the health officer. It looks like uh, lots of people are not really happy with uh, your agency. With what they said, as if you were with other places in court. Now, has the agency ever made an inspection uh, at, at those places or to those places? Uh, let me answer it by saying that the year has just begun. We have each officer assigned to a particular jurisdiction. And as the year has just begun, there are some people that have been assigned to monitor that very area, to inspect that area. I think uh, they will swing into action as this uh, complaint has uh, been made known to us now through this uh, very program. Does it mean they have not been uh, going to this program? They have. They have. Maybe this one is just a new development. What has been happening is that we can't be everywhere at the same time. Like 156 Asian Road, even in the town, we see these premises based on the condition that there is no toilet facility there and the people they defecate indiscriminately. And you still see them going further with a higher cost to open it. A higher cost to open it that uh, it is not within our power to seal a premises that has no toilet. And also give the people the permission to go in and continue their business. Why they defecate and they throw it here and there, causing health hazard and diseases to people. So we can be everywhere at the same time. We work with information of people, like this one has come. We also swing into action to ascertain the place where this thing is existing. So and being carrying out such inspections. So you are promising us that uh, when best we get to that place, at least by March, that um, Azikiwe will take a new phase. Uh, we won't be actually hearing of such complaints again. We will swing into action even when I get to the office now. We will take action on those uh, people concerned and those areas concerned. We shall be looking forward to that. Now, sir, um, let us get to uh, the last caller who still called, said these landlords should, should be called to order. Now, you see that even people are saying, they are, they are, they are pointing, uh, they are saying landlords, landlords, they are calling the landlords. And there's a point that the agency is still not aware of this. But you went to a, to, to a member is being reported uh, before an interaction. Remember, um, in your office here now, you are the landlord here. And if anything happens by, by nearby, it's a landlord issue too. So when you say landlord, it does not mean APADA. It does not mean a not put in a domain association. Okay. And uh, remember I said, we are not, uh, though we are the uh, highest uh, number of landlords, mm -hmm. but we are not up to 50% in ABAR. A population in ABAR. We are not up to 50%. So, um, unless a matter is reported to us directly, then we investigate and find out that the person is our member. But if it's not our member, we cannot even... Now, now that it has come to your notice, what are you going to do about it? No, it's still... It, um, because a member could be involved. Yes, ma'am. It's the office will report to us. We will receive official report to it. So you have to health officers. Even if you're walking down the street and you see these things happen, you have to wait till your health officer uh, comes and reports to you. You see, I guess there's no way now I can turn to be a health officer or turn to be a police to arrest somebody 
if you are talking to anybody, you ask, what is your authority of talking to me? You remember what the, the head officer said now, when he is not um, he's a, he's a Morphe and he saw something, he was, he was asking that woman, why are you doing this? Asking, who are you? Are you the owner of the Gota? Because it's not the uniform, if it's the uniform, nobody would ask him. Why don't you members have ID cards? They're able to know. We have ID card. We have ID card, but uh, that ID card will not uh, warrant me to see something that, uh, that, that is the, the, the duty of the health, uh, health, health department. I will go there to uh, talk about it. It's not my function. It's not my duty. They will even ask me, who are you? Why are you talking about this? What do you what, what do you have to talk about? This? What, what will be your answer? Unless the matter is reported to us. I told you that, that we have a discipline committee. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, let me ask you, um, Mr. Sinachi Umezu. Now, since your uh, members, like I said, the, you, you, the report must come to your office before it has been. Um, it is. So, if your member is report is reported to you, or let's say the health agency reports to you, um, what does your office do? Uh, my member reports on what? The fourteen. Uh, when my member comes to office and reports. The fourteen. Oh, we know what to do. Uh, we know what to do. If the my member is the the fourteen, mm -hmm. I will now know what to do. If the head officer is the the fourteen, I will know what to do because our duty is to see that the uh, the health officers are demanding for trade up nurses, which namely the health uh, certificate of uh, fitness, excavation, site approval. All this, this trade up mess is what they demand. Mm -hmm. When the father has it, I know that it's free. The duty of the health officer is to go there and verify and find out what is the matter. But when you have the, all this trade up mess, you are free. You are free if you, you don't have any provision for sewage. You are free. No, it's not because I, I cannot live in my I cannot start working in my office and live uh, at number 20 or number 10. It's the duty of the officer to report to us that this is on my hand. The Statute of Fitness, sorry for continuing, the Statute of Fitness issued by the health department. Then we visit the house. Okay. You see, you go to visit the house and confirm that the, 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 the house is in order before they issue the certificate. Okay. And that's where we act on. All right. Well, like I said, I said that earlier, if we receive any report as they say, of our member, we will direct the matter to the district committee. We have 12 committees mm -hmm. handling different functions. Okay. All right. So, uh, finally, before we end up, uh, um, the social issue, there's a complaint that most landlords don't belong to your organization. Why is that? The port on no, no, so it's, 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 the that person will not go to him. Okay. The All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's say okay. Just quickly. No, no, no. no. See to that. Now, um, is he who um, who knew what he wants? Mm. Eh? Is uh, we are we are we are, we are having a policy in the Nigeria the Free Association mm -hmm. anywhere we want to belong, we belong. So we cannot uh, force anybody to come to us. Eh? You see, if you want, you come. Which is the other organizations of London. Yes, they are the others. But they are happy that all oh, who have joined us, they join our protection. That's where we, where we focus. Right. Because, uh, nobody can intimidate our member. Okay. No police. <laughs> if the person if the person is right. But if it's a criminal, police will handle the person. Alright, so finally, um there's a day we choose on before Randolph. Um your words, the final words uh, before uh, we actually call it the summer program. My final word is to tell our residents, please be mindful of the wastewater you channel your water to the public pool. Please don't channel your water. Two, landlords, please we advise you before you build your house, consult the health authority to advise you on the way to control your wastewater. Also, those who dispose refuse indiscriminately, please, we, we are advising you, try to manage your waste, provide refuse bin, and dispose it sanitarily at the government designated point. And also, right now, the issue of Lassa fever, we are telling you that it can come to you. What you need to do, protect yourself, let there be adequate sanitation within and around your premises. Hand watch, avoid 
avoid a few, very few contact with an infected person. Kill every rat within your premises. And also support us to help you to maintain a healthy living. So what are you assuring about residents especially? Because there are not even there are calls still coming on the program. We still have any calls, but because of that we can't take calls. You want what they want you want you to assure about people that you will be doing. We want to hear from you what you promise to do, especially as uh, we've just uh, begun twenty twenty. Okay. Now 2020, we are ready to work. If you people will cooperate with us, we are ready to enforce the public health law. Help us to protect the health workers who are coming to do their work, not to fight them. We are ready to work. If we have police backup, we are ready to work. We also need a competent court a uh, sanitation cut that will help us to fasten our servants and also fasten our work without fear and favor of persons. Okay. We are ready to work okay. if you will support us because my director has also created pollution units that goes into the street to really ascertain the condition of things in our pass out. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you, Thank you AUD both. Thank you very much, Mr. David Chisholm. And I'll forget you, Mr. Sinatra Misery. Thank you very much. I would just sincerely apologize. We can't take more calls, uh, um, but uh, because we have to go, time is no longer on our side. But do join us tomorrow at 8 a.m. Um, the station is MCR TV for another edition of Good Morning Abia. I am Ruth Ohams. And of course, uh, Please uh, do stay tuned for uh, Una Salachi Omar there. Do have a wonderful day. Bye bye.